Despite all the warnings and tragedies, an average of 660,000 drivers are hitting the nation's roads this morning distracted behind the wheel. Their hands are busy with cell phones or other electronics. Ben Tracy shows us how police in one California city are taking an unusual approach to stop the potentially deadly habit. Uh, white Escalade, cell phone. This is not your average police sting. He's now testing with his uh, right hand. These officers are in plain clothes, but they are also hiding in plain sight. Hey, don't give to the homeless people. I'm a police officer. These drivers assume the officers were panhandlers, but had they read the signs instead of whatever was on their phones, they would have realized they were about to get busted. Phone left hand. I got her. Some drivers were more than distracted. We had a woman coming down with no seatbelt on. She was uh, talking on her phone and putting on mascara all at the same time and driving. Cell phones are now involved in 1.6 million auto crashes each year that kill 6,000 people. 98% of adults say they know texting and driving is unsafe, but 49% admit to still doing it. It happened and, and it you know, probably happened again. However, I got caught. <laughs> Detective Devin Peck says in just two hours, they stopped 54 people and issued 39 tickets for distracted driving. New ticket. A first time offense in San Bernardino totals $162. I text sometimes and, and I know I shouldn't be in. Yeah, I think it's good. I mean, it teach me a lesson. Blue Mitsubishi right here, uh, talking on her cell phone. <laughs> but others have not learned their lesson. You're going to be cited again this morning for using a cellular device while operating a motor vehicle. They caught this woman again. She was checking voicemails. Just two weeks after her last ticket, a second offense is $285. Same violation, same location, same vehicle. Did she seem embarrassed or just angry? She was just angry today. Do you think people understand the risk they're taking? I, I don't think they do. I often ask people if they would drive blindfolded, and of course the answer is no, and they kind of see the relation between driving blindfolded and driving distracted. On average, a person takes their eyes off of the road for five seconds every time they text. At 55 miles per hour, that's like covering the length of an entire football field blindfolded. San Bernardino is cracking down on distracted driving because Lieutenant Travis Walker says the city now has more traffic fatalities than homicides every year. Why do you think people are just not getting this message? It's almost like the rules don't apply to me, and that's what's unfortunate. Accidents are preventable. But only if all eyes stay on the road and off the phone. I need your signature in the green box at the bottom. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, San Bernardino. Very important story. Makes sense to me. Know, yeah, me absolutely. too. People still don't get, get it. Off your phones when you're driving. And your makeup. And your makeup too. Your mascara can wait, people.